No, it's not a saga. And yes, that is how it's pronounced. Emil говорит почти свободно по русски и saga как это правильно произношён. So yeah, I speak Russian and saga is how it's probably pronounced. Anyways, this is the Lynx 12 brought in from SDS Imports that sort of revived our ability to enjoy the Sega 12s after they were banned from import. This guy is a whole lot of fun, but has a little brother that might be even more fun. Welcome the Spetz 12 from Advanced Weapon Systems. We'll take a look at this next on GB Guns. With guns like the TAC-14 out there, it was only a matter of time before someone turned the AK platform into a firearm. First, of course, we'll show clear. And you see, can lock the bolt back on these things. The Spetz 12 is a conversion, or rather built by these guys. You see that Firebird there? That's Advanced Weapon Systems. Using the parts that go into the SDS Lynx 12, to my understanding. We'll have to see, but uh, the important part is this is a firearm. This receiver itself was never a shotgun. It was built from the get-go with this shorter, I want to say about 14 inch barrel. And that makes it a firearm, which means you can put a brace on it. Comes with the SB Tactical SBA3 on a sort of receiver extension, if you will. It's adjustable. This is an upgraded pistol grip. Uh, they come with the standard AK style pistol grip. These are just much more comfortable. It's very similar to what the Vepers had. And uh, man, I'm just excited about this. <laughs> you saw how it looked with the drum. If I slap in one of SDS imports, they have these uh, somewhat translucent, although you can't tell from this angle, uh, magazines. Oh, geez. This is what happens when you try to insert a magazine using your right hand from a different angle than you normally do. But, <laughs> can't even get it on camera because this 10 rounder is about the same size as the barrel. I think that's pretty cool. I do have to admit I played around and it seems to function some of the uh, Agula mini, mini shells. I don't know if it's going to cycle on that. Um, see, one of the things with shorter barrel is we're going to have less back pressure, or rather that pressure is going to be released sooner as the projectile leaves the barrel, which means there won't be as much gas to operate the system. But uh, it is an adjustable gas block, just like the, the Sagaz had. We've got a safety with a nice extended lever, so you can just reach up, get your finger, and you can see it slaps easily up and down. doesn't get bound up when it goes over the top of the receiver there. I hate that <laughs> when that happens. These receivers are also the 1.5 millimeter thickness, I believe. Trigger is really nice on it. Let me turn this guy around so I can get my hand in there. Trigger hand in there. Let's watch travel. Come back. A slight wall there if you've got a very sensitive finger. Oops. I don't think I can fully. Very definitive reset. Boom breaks again. Very handy portable size for a truck gun or home defense, potentially. Well, uh, when we get this out, we're going to take it out and do some patterns with it. Um, and see what uh, we get at different distances, also what the recoil is like. And uh, really looking forward to having the SBA3 brace on there to make that a bit easier. Sights are standard. We do have a rail here for being able to mount an optic if we want. And uh, pretty much a standard sized handguard, I believe. I don't think anything magic had to go on there. Um, it's very comfortable, has a nice indentation with a rise so you've got an edge to grip. Hopefully that'll make this controllable. I don't have a whole lot of experience with these firearm types in 12 gauge. Uh, I did fire the TAC-14 and found that without a laser it can be really difficult to keep on target uh, through multiple shots. 
to break it down, it breaks down like an AK. We do have the retained style spring back here. There's a button on top that has to be pushed down while you push in. And sometimes that goes easily, sometimes it doesn't. Usually if I have the camera rolling, it doesn't want to go easily. So you guys can laugh as you want. Flip around and try my other hands. Come on. There we are. Dust cover comes off. We can pull out our recoil spring. You can see the rod is shortened. And we do have a rubber buffer there. To, that helps with recoil. It also helps keep the uh, rear trunnion alive by reducing the impact when the bolt slams onto it. We can see our innards there, our standard AK. We even have the twisted wire spring. Get our bolt back and out from bolt and carrier. And give you a look inside this. Those of you who are hardcore AK aficionados, you can make your judgments. Uh, please let, let us know what you see in the comments below. Although I am an AK fan and I own several of them, I've never been super picky about them because I've never had a problem with a single one of them. Rivets look nicely done. And of course, our carrier, I like that the uh, uh, piston here is in solidly. There isn't that rattle or wiggle that you get with some AKs. It's just a personal preference. You can see this gun's been shot. It's uh, not brand new. In fact, it's not even mine. It's on loan to be able to try out because when I saw these were coming out, I had to get my hands on one and uh, proceeded to, of course, harass the snot out of the owner until I got my hands on it. Come on. Tough to get this back on the rails in camera frame. There we are. Just a second. Magic of film. Yeah, if... Uh, and if you ever uh, want to take a laugh at some of those challenges, try putting a camera in front of you and looking through the camera instead of at the actual object while you do all this, because that's how I film this. And it most certainly makes for some challenges. Mostly because you don't have the same sp spatial awareness that you would have if uh, you were holding the thing in your lap or on the table or whatnot. But this is the Spetz 12. I'm happy to be able to show it off. I'm heading out to uh, the Iraq Vet YouTube shoot and another event prior to that for the magazines that I write for. So unfortunately, it might be a while before I get to shoot this thing. Hopefully, we'll get that out in a couple weeks. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you soon.